Alright guys, welcome back to another episode on the Rack server. As always, this is Frog Legged, and I am really excited. I am so excited about today because I think we are going to get really close to finishing the lily pad today. And uh, so let's see. Look at all of this stuff right here. I have, I counted the other day, I think it was like 20 something stacks of jungle leaves as well as one, two, three, four, almost five stacks of lily pads. And now you may be wondering, what on earth do you need all of that for? Well, I do need it. I will say that. To be completely honest, I will need it. I feel like I actually might not have enough leaves. And you may be thinking, Frog, why would you need that much stuff? You're still not answering my question. Well, the, the point is I'm not going to answer your question because I really don't know if I need all that stuff. <laughs> in the first place and also you know I'm actually gonna go steal one of my own chests back <laughs> I'm not sure if I will need all that stuff but I do know that I'm getting I'm getting ahead of myself here I'm not gonna tell you what I need it for because I'm going to show you that <laughs> there we go that's the point I was trying to make and I don't know why I was stuck on not telling you if, if I needed that much I don't know I was just <laughs> I was just getting a little bit ahead of myself, a little lost. But what we are going to do is we're going to put up everything that we don't need, which is all this right here. I uh, don't need that. I probably don't need those two. That, that. Uh, I'll need chicken. I probably... Okay, that'll be good. Oh, wait. No, wait. Where's my other stuff? Don't I have a pick somewhere? I don't have a pick. Oh, well, that stinks. I wonder if we have one in the community chest right here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to replace anything I take from this community chest. Don't worry, but uh, if there's a pick up here, that would be really, really helpful. Is there one? No pick. Stone swords? No pick. Well, darn. Oh, wait. I think I put this tree here. So let me just chop it down real, real quick. Somebody else did this. I'll replant, though. I don't even have an axe on me. <laughs> but we're going to take this and we're going to make some tools. And uh, we're going to make a tool. We are going to make a... Oh, in the rain. We're going to make a pick. Let me Let me see if I can do this right. <laughs> there we go. Close enough. There we go. Close enough. <laughs> oh my gosh. So what we're going to do is we are going to uh, jump on down the lily pad in just a second. And I will see you guys there to give you the tour. Alright guys, so here is my house and I have a visitor. A very scary visitor. I don't know what to do. I want him to leave. I think I can make him teleport. Hold on. Let's try this. Oh. Okay. He didn't aggro me, did he? Oh my gosh. I hope he's gone. I hope he's gone. And now I broke this. But anyways. Here you can see my lily pad shape that we made upstairs. We've also got it on this level. Let me find a good way to get in here. I've got it here get down there we go okay and we've also got it down here and we will have it down here um, I'm going to finish off this last level and this will be all the levels we'll have one two three floors to start off with and if we need more then uh, what is this if we need more I will make more if we uh, don't, then we'll just leave it as it is. But I think three levels is good enough just to get the main idea started. So I will be back with you guys in just a second. Alright guys, so we are back. I have just... What is that? There's a hole there. Why is there a hole there? Huh. Well, we are back. I just finished out this very bottom layer. So what we are going to do is we are going to get started on the different layers. And what I'm going to do is we are going to replace the bottom layer of each level I would say of the thing with leaves 
so we're going to be doing that really quick and to be honest it might have been easier if I went ahead and dug these out beforehand but uh, whatever I I've been kind of like off and on crazy different places trying to uh, organize how this is going to work but see we're going to have a we're going to have leaves right here for this stuff right here and actually we're going to have leaves come out one past all of it so actually I might want I, I'm going to go ahead and do the leaves that are one past it first I think because that'll probably be the easiest way to do it and then I will uh, do the insides that way I know where I need to place leaves so uh oh, oh darn no that was stupid I should not have done that oh my gosh okay well I will do this real quick I'm gonna show you how this bottom layer works I'm gonna finish off this bottom layer real quick and I will be back with you guys in again just a second alright guys so I did get all of the stone out from the bottom layer of the bottom layer <laughs> every layer is too thick so uh, we're finishing up with the last little bit of leaves on the bottom of this and I really don't want to tell you what I'm doing because I want it to be a really cool surprise but I figure since you're here watching me you you, you really have a right in that oh well dang um yep there we go okay not too bad <laughs> but I figure you guys have a right to know so what I'm doing is oh, dang it I need to make a pair of shears so that if I do that I can break them and have them back um, every layer is too thick. There is going to be leaves on the bottom layer, and the top layer will be water. <laughs> There's some lag right there. Um, and on top of the water, on the top layer of each... <sighs> dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang <laughs> it. I really... Oh, dang. I really should probably just leave them there and then come back with shears in a little bit. But uh, I'm too much of a perfectionist. But anyways, so this is the bottom layer. So this is what you will see, basically, from uh, any of the other layers when they're finished. So let's go back up a layer. Oop, can I go? There we go. I got stuck for a second. Why did I get stuck? But now that we've done that, let me do this, too, because I kind of forgot the fact that the water's got to stay. Oh, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang <laughs> it. That doesn't need to be there. And also, this very outside layer right here will be water. It will be flowing down around the sides, and you should be able to see it through the leaves, which is why I wanted to use leaves. And in certain parts of the wall outside of that water layer, there will also be glowstone to help light the thing up. So there will be no torches at all on the inside of this, if I can help it. Now, I think in the very middle, I might hide a glowstone thing here or there, but I don't want to do that if I don't have to. I want to conceal as much light as I possibly can, and I also want to, um, I want, I want everything to be as natural as possible. So, yep, now that we've got this, we're going to dig out this stone and try not to break any leaves. So I think I might just mine like this. I do mining like this a lot when it comes to clearing out things. And I know that I can use a steel iron pick and it might be a good bit faster but because I'm working with leaves here the last thing I want to do is break through a rock really quick or some stone really quick and then accidentally take out some leaves and you know have them be gone forever because it was it was both a pain and it was kind of fun to get those leaves at the same time um, it was really fun to walk around in the jungle that I was in and just have at it with the shears but it was also really hard to get to them. And also something that I learned <laughs> about jungles, or yeah, jung when uh, I learned about the jungles, is that all those leaves on the bottom of a jungle are not jungle leaves. So I went in there thinking, okay, yeah, I'll just clear out all this brush at the bottom and I'll have tons of jungle leaves. Well, that wasn't the case because all of the leaves at the bottom for some reason are oak leaves not jungle leaves I don't know why and I don't particularly agree with that decision in the first place because of the fact that you know I wanted I wanted easy jungle leaves and it was kind of hard having to climb up the trees and get to them so now there's a section of jungle out there somewhere that has <laughs> leafless trees it's just big pillars of 
wood sticking up <laughs> and it looks it looks kind of funny really it's it's uh way out in the middle of nowhere kind of next to uh i think benchy started up a, a sand quarry where he's just digging up sand and leaving the landscape kind of ugly and it's right next to it so his uh oh the water spread up there darn it anyways so his idea was uh if we're gonna mess, if we're gonna make some of the land look ugly by stripping it of resources, we might as well keep it all centralized. And since there was a jungle right there next to it, he told me that I should go over there to get the leaves because I was talking about <laughs> finding a small jungle somewhere and clear cutting it, and maybe just turning it into some other kind of area like a grasslands or something, <laughs> a catlands because <laughs> all of the ocelots would still. Uh, they would still spawn there, I think, even though all the jungle would be gone. It would just be grass. <laughs> but he made he he made me an offer, or offered that I could do that, and I figured, you know, why not? Because it would be really nice to keep it all central and just this one ugly place where we can put up this big old huge parking lot afterwards. <laughs> but I'm gonna finish up the last little bit of this off camera, I think. And I will be back with you guys in just a second when I start filling this up with water and lily pads. Alright guys, so we are back and we are almost done with filling up this layer with water. Um, let's see. Yeah, we are really close to finishing that and then after this we'll put down some lily pads. But I am really happy with how this ended up looking out. L ended up looking like, how about that word? <laughs> And I, it's, I love the lily pad shape. I'm really liking it. But now I'm starting to wonder if I had enough materials in terms of lily pads because there's going to be lily pads everywhere, basically. And <laughs> I mean, I don't really know what else to say. There's lily pads everywhere. There's water everywhere. There's leaves everywhere. It's going to be green as all get out. It's just. I'm really glad that I came up with this idea because I really liked how it looked when I tested it out in a creative world and it just looked really nice. I feel like I will need a lot of glowstone and I think it is Benchy. Oop, there go. There goes one whole stack already. I think Benchy is working on a uh, witch farm, which means that uh we will have a lot of glowstone dust being farmed and I might be able to get some glowstone from that if not then I will just uh, I'll just have to do without glowstone or well I mean I'll have to do with finding my own glowstone in the nether which if you know me by now uh, is not is, is a whole lot easier said than done so um, if I can do without having to go into the nether then that would be fine by me if I have to, then I will just have to deal because I love my build enough that I will go into the nether and risk dying to light it up. Um, the torches were kind of my way of seeing how well I could light up the center with just glowstone at the edges. And I feel like... Mm, I feel like if I have enough around the edges, the mid... Oh, also right here. Well, maybe. Maybe. I, I feel like I might have to hide one or two around the center in the middle or like say right here in the middle so it wouldn't be hidden so much I wonder if you can place vines on glowstone if you can then that would be good if you can't then ah uh, well but I really I'm really liking this this looks really good to me I really like it I like it so much <laughs> I'm jumping with joy I love it so much but what we're gonna do is we're going to do that with this first layer up here also and the layer down there on the bottom I think we'll do that with too. I'm not sure if I want to just wait on oop, on that yet or not. But see this is what you'll see. You'll see the water and you'll see this. But something that I apparently found out is that uh, that water does not drip through grass, blo uh, grass blocks. <laughs> Leaf blocks. And I think the reasoning behind that was that uh, gr uh, leaves are a transparent block. Which means that you know light travels through it or whatever or air or something uh, the same the same as glass uh, glass is a transparent block and I think the reasoning was that water should not that is not what I wanted to pick uh, I think the reasoning was water should not be seeping through uh, grass blocks like that I mean glass blocks sorry 
<laughs> Am I part Asian today or what? Oh my gosh, I can't get those I can't say those words right. Oh, but I think the reasoning was again, water should not be able to pass through glass blocks like that. It shouldn't be dripping because glass is even though it's transparent, it is solid. Um, I don't agree with that decision either because of the fact that, you know, leaves, there are, technically there are more s transparent leaf blocks than there are transparent, you know, glass and, uh, what is it, glowstone blocks. I mean, there's more types of leaves, and water would go through leaves. Another thing is also that if you have a lot of cold water on top of glass, I assume that condensation would take place, and then, you know, water would most likely end up dripping from that too. Um... So, uh, if I had any connection with Dinner and Bone, <laughs> or anybody who works at the game, I would, I would, I would probably say something like, uh, fix your game, Dinner and Bone. <laughs> but I don't, and it's probably, it's probably something that will happen that this will never get fixed in my eyes. It will probably stay like this for as long as, you know, the game stays, you know, finished or whatever. Um, there's probably a mod out there that I could get to quote unquote fix it, but you know I don't want to play with mods if I can help it. Uh, just because of the fact that updating a mod whenever a new version of the game comes out is the biggest, biggest pain that you ha have ever had to deal with. It is so aggravating to not be able to play a map because of the fact that a block or whatever is new and it'll crash your game. I've dealt with that before. I've had to go into MC Edit and delete entire chunks because there have been chunks with new blocks in it that are not in the update because of the fact that it was a mod, blah blah blah. It was it was a bad experience for me because the mod never updated ever since that first time I installed it. It would never update to be current. It would only update to the newest version after the next newest version came out. So, I've been burned by mods a pretty good bit before. So, it's not really something I want to look into. Even though something as simple as water dripping through a block probably would not cause a problem like that. But, dang, dang it. Uh, I'm also in the snapshots, so I really don't want to deal with installing mods into the jar. Also, because of the fact that I think the snapshots... Well, first off, mods for snapshots are rare, and uh, the snapshots, I think, also re-download every time you launch the game. So, there's that. That's the whole reason why I don't like mods. After about 5-10 minutes of telling you all that, I think I'm going to cut it. So, I will see you guys back again in just another second. Oh, dang it. Alright, so we are done with this level too, so now time to do some... Oh, 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 I got stuck, I got stuck! What did I do? Why did I do that? Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, so let me put a few pads down in the first place. Okay, so now that we're done, we've got two levels done. The very bottom level will be a little different, I'm thinking. I'm not 100% sure, as will the top level. Um, this bed right here, I'm not sure if I want it like that. I think I might have it sunk down into the water some. And I actually think I will have it up here on this top level because... Um, I have some kind of effects that I want to do with it that I would not be able to... Oh, I had more leaves there. I want to do some kind of... Oh, wait, no, I didn't want leaves. I wanted <laughs> lily pads, dummy. <laughs> There's some effects that I want to do. Oh, darn it, darn it, darn it. There we go. There's some effects that I want to do for the third time <laughs> with my bed that uh, having it on the top floor would help because then I can extend things up past the ceiling if I need to. And if I do, if I don't, if I end up not wanting to do that, then it'll also be at the top level. Uh, 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 uh. Well, there we go. That's kind of uh. <laughs> looks a bit. <laughs> oh no no! Oh wait. Never mind. Get out of my wa- oh gosh, he's gonna be stuck in the lily pads! Get out! Get out! You're not welcome here! Oh my gosh. This is bad. Wait, I can still hit him! I can still hit him through the leaves, yes! I'm in the lily pads! Awesome. Did he drop something? Yes he did. Can I get it? Mm, now I can. Okay. Items do not fall through the lily pads, but... Um, 
I, I, I thought that I could pick up items through the lily pads anyways if some happened to fall, but that's not the case, unfortunately. But trust me, you cannot get through these lily pads. I've tried to pick up water through these lily pads in any possible way, and it's not possible. And I've thrown items all over the top of these lily pads, and they just do not get through unless something glitches out. And I am out of lily pads. I'm going to run back up. And what I think I am going to do is... Oh, I think I am going to do leaves around this right here because I do like to be able to see out but at the same time these squid are getting ridiculous it's just it just needs to stop happening it cannot happen anymore I'm sick of it but oh wow oh I'm almost out of lily pads so I am gonna have to find some more lily pads for that very bottom layer that stinks I spent forever out on the open ocean basically um, getting those lily pads. Um, I know, I know lily pads aren't out in the ocean, but we have this big, huge swamp right next to spawn, and it is pretty much, uh, an ocean. Uh, most of the swamp is water, and so there are tons of lily pads out there, and good news and bad news, riding in a boat, uh, pops lily pads off so that you can pick them up. It doesn't break your boats anymore. Bad news is you can either be going too fast to get them, and the spawn, the spawn, the control mechanics for boats have changed to something horribly worse. So, as you can see, bed still works fine, but I am going to sink it down into the floor, I think. And I'm also going to do some fancy stuff with that. Um, I'm not going to put these walls all the way up yet because of the fact that I want to put my glowstone in here before we do that. And uh, I think I might go ahead and do the ceiling. I'm not sure yet. I feel like we can go ahead and do the bottom layer though since it is here I feel like we should go ahead and work on that so I think I will dig out this one no I have to dig out two more layers of this huh. I think I'll do that real quick and I will uh, be back again in just a little bit alright guys so I just finished up Ooh, ah, dang it why does this keep happening can I there god okay so I just finished up working on this last layer I'm putting up the last little bit of my lily pads now which obviously is not gonna be enough for what uh, for the rest of it because that is my last little bit of lily pads I actually feel like I'm running low enough on jungle leaves to also warrant some concern but that's this this is it it's the lily pad this is not it completely but um, I'll have to see about getting some glowstone and some more lily pads and we'll see about that some more but I think that I think oh you know what I'm gonna do I think I'll do this right now let me grab this real quick because I did put these up here while I was away um I think what I'm going to do is Ooh, well I probably shouldn't check my inventory while I'm doing that uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put jungle leaves around this entrance since I have the leaves and I'm tired of all of these squid. So let's do that real quick. Come on, come on up, come on up. There's some leaves, 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 leaves. Oh wait, I don't like that. That's bad, I don't like that. Oh, what the heck, you can't see through them. That's horrible, I don't want that. Why would I want that, that's bad. Oh, what to do, what to do. I'll leave those there. No, I'll take them down. I'll have to find something else to do. I can't think of what else to do for that, though, because... Oh, no, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm not holding forward, that's why. <laughs> I was holding sideways instead of forward. I was wondering why I was going the wrong direction. <laughs> but, oh, gosh. Oh, I have plenty of leaves, though, to do that if I wanted to but the thing is I don't want to um I think that will probably be it for this episode it may be a little bit of a short episode what with all the cuts that I've done but I'm kind of ready for a little bit of a break I might add more onto the episode later but I might not if so then you know here it comes next if not if not then this has been it for this episode of me frog legged here on the rack server Thank you guys for watching, and if you liked the episode, feel free to leave a like, leave a comment down in the description, not in the description, 
Bleh. <laughs> Leave a comment down below if you have any comments, suggestions, criticisms, anything that you think that might help me to become a better person for you. <laughs> I am a little bit tired, as you can probably tell. I'm, I'm a little a little bit slow recovering. <laughs> but that is it. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, and goodbye.